Hey guys, long time no see, so thank you for coming back again. I'm just going to do a quick get ready with me. So I just put on some Smashbox Primer Water and um, some matte, Rebel Matte. Doing a little bit of uh, correction to my dark areas. And I'm going to be using this Infallible uh, Foundation. It's a little bit off of my from my, from my actual color, but... I do like the way it finishes and it's 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 a good foundation for the low ski. So I keep using it. But as winter goes and I start to uh you know get a little bit more paler, this ain't gonna work at all. I just hate that I don't have a lot of different variety of shades. Like that's what sucks. Somehow to try like black opal or something. Time for my eyes. So I like to use, use my um my powder, like my skin color powder, as a transition color. And I'm going into this like this little matte palette. I love it. It's only I think it was only forty dollars. So you should check it out. I forget what it's called, but um maybe I'll put it on the description box below. So then I'm also going in with this Kat Von D palette. I'm using the brown shade in it. The brown shade is really dark. It's almost, it's, it's really dark. Like, it kind of looks black in this, uh, like a very dull black in this video. But it's brown. So, yeah, I'm just going to blend out, blend, blend, blend. And, yeah, I'm really excited about this little, um, this Get Ready With Me. Um, I have... A little style I think is really cute and really neat. So keep watching and you'll see it in a little bit. Of course, I'm blending, I'm blending, I'm blending. I'm tired of blending. <laughs> uh, I'm going to come in with this gold color. This gold color is coming from the Kat Von D palette again. I think it's the Monarch palette. I will put it in the description box exactly what palette it is. And I'm putting that in. I'm also going to top it with, um, well, I'm going to blend, but then I'm going to top the gold part with uh, the, the gold shade in the matte palette as well. So as you see, putting some concealer on there underneath my eyes. This is the LA Girl, I believe, and I, that's the medium beige. So I'm going to use my Real Techniques beauty sponge I'm just gonna dab that out I like this little sponge it's pretty cool it's like every other sponge I guess uh, now I'm just gonna use my my powder this is uh, I'm using the Maybelline matte powder and I'm just gonna set my foundation with it and this is an elf, elf, E L F eyes, lip, face, contour set. Just to give my face some color back, so I don't look like a ghost. I'm just drawing, putting some eyeshadow underneath my eyes, smoke it out a little bit. And I don't know. I think I kind of messed up with this. Like this white eyeliner. I don't know. I was feeling creative. <laughs> I would probably just do a black. Just keep it keep it simple. That's how I'm looking like. Mm, did I just F up? But let's keep it moving. <laughs> Whatever. Um, And these lips. I like these color. I really want to go for a chocolate lip. But... Um... I really want to go for a chocolate lip, but I didn't really have the color that I was looking for. But when you don't have the color, you just make the color. So um, I'm just using some black liner, lip liner on my lips. And this is just a cheapy Walgreens Wet n Wild. Um, this is not even like the like the good brand of Wet n Wild lipstick, but they had the color I wanted. So it's like a very chocolatey color. Um, I'll put it the number because it's a number at the bottom 
in the description box if you're interested you can look there but yeah I kind of got the color I was looking for so I'm going to go ahead and highlight I believe this, this is the uh, another elf product this is their highlighter it's very similar I think it's comparable to Albatross or some NARS highlighter I can't think of right now because I can't get my thoughts together currently so please forgive me anyways it's time for hair get my hair out of these pigtails and let's get it started so anyway so basically what I do is I just I just kind of like just finger comb my hair up get my hair prepared to go up because it's going to be up do style so I almost put my hair up but I realized let me try to tame some of these flyaways so I grabbed for my gel but and guess what my gel is almost out so yeah I kind of messed up on this part too because it came out like that which isn't cute but we're gonna move on we're gonna we're gonna persevere we're gonna move past it and I'm gonna put some more on it just to <laughs> even up both sides <laughs> anyways it's, it didn't it doesn't turn out too bad but yeah I'm gonna put my hair up in a ponytail as you can see and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna wrap it around twice. I'm only gonna wrap it around once because I still want it kind of loose. And this actually helps me because usually like I'm like I'm like a person that gets headaches. Like if my bun is too tight, my ponytail is too tight. So yeah, I don't have this problem with that style. So I don't know if you have that issue, but yeah, I do. So as you can see, what I did, I just twisted my hair at the end, and I'm gonna bobby pin. This is the easiest bun style I have ever done and only takes about two, well actually took about three or four um, bobby pins to pin it down and it looks like a donut. It looks like a sock bun, like you just a sock bun, a donut bun, whatever you want to call it and you didn't need anything. <laughs> so if your hair is about like around my length or something close or even longer, even if your hair is shorter, you could probably still do it, do the style. So, yeah, that's what I do when I'm feeling like, hey, let me just throw this up in a bun really quick, quickly. And this is so, so, so simple. So because my uh, my gel was caught rather than having the gel, I just tried to pin it up. Anyways, thank you for watching. And that is all. Please subscribe. And like this and comment. Let me know what you think. Bye.